Okay guys, what I thought I'd do is a quick tour, uh, August tour of the allotment and it's another beautiful day today, beautiful evening so we won't make it as long as the last one so I haven't done, it's not a full full tour only the areas which are really coming into play okay here uh, got a clematis which I'm just going to train up and it's going to climb over the bee area so I can make it nice and secluded for when I do get the hive and stuff to prevent theft and obviously provide a bit of extra protection from the wind so this is around the pond area I finally managed to move my auntie to weed uh, get rid of the biome weed in the pizza area I've got a lot of work to do on here to make it proper I've put the horseradish and the slow trees for now they've got to be put in bigger containers but for now just here some more rhubarb coming up some more chives lavender's flowering lovely so is this canna as well so, ooh, pardon me this is cocosmia here over here we've got a passion flower we need to install an arch around here not much time to do much garden at the moment and we've got some tree kale here along which is doing fine harvested my first corn and we've got our hedgerow here which is doing lovely and look at this for a sunflower head look at that it's incredible notice the patterns the old Fibonacci and all that mathematical patterns harvested some of my corn and here and the sturgeons are flowering lovely uh, courgettes I've been picking off this is like the three sisters but with courgettes look at these lovely lilac flowers the one of beans sort of work on my focus but look at this okay I'll watch this oh, gorgeous mini sunflower growing right next to this beast of a sunflower this is one and a half times bigger than I am we've got a tomatillos flowering here looking beautiful we've got a, uh, this is a patty pan squash I believe it is or courgette some more sunflowers which I'm going to harvest some of the heads uh, just to give to my nan so thank you as well okay, gorgeous we've got alpine strawberry just here flowering we've got some yak on here doing well we've got a squash which I've harvested yesterday pushing through there and we've got our three sisters again the sweet corn will be near to harvest soon we've got some more yak on growing amongst here all these corn already harvested so I might check some out again look at this A beautiful flower look at that look at the geometry of that it's crazy three sisters methods doing good there raspberries I've been picking some more beans down here more three sisters at the back just there and there's the amaranth flowering the old squashes have uh, grown out a bit, so um, I can't really get to that side of the allotment. Look at this. Some maize. We've got runner beans here. We've got our grapes. We're going to finish harvesting. Oh, we go in. It's literally <laughs> bigger than I am. If I turn this around, so you can see me nice and slowly. Here I am. Hello. Look at it. <sighs> that is crazy. All right, turn you around slowly. Epic camel work skills here. <laughs> and look at the screen so you can see me like into the poly tunnel. It's starting to get dark. I've been picking lots of tomatoes. There's not really any ripe ones here because I picked them yesterday. You can see the 
sky is full of grape leaves. I've got to pick more grapes. Got some canners down there. Our cocha, which is a Bolivian is it lady slippers, I believe it's called. It's doing fine. I haven't seen any fruit yet. Oops, sorry, spider. You can see it. it's attaching on there. There it is. Growing up. What's this spot? Uh, the odd bit of fruit. Oh, where's a cucumelon? Cucumelon there, it's nearly coming to an end. But as you can see, we've got some fruit here. Just here to pick as well. Alright, turn you around. Hey. Feels a bit autumnal in the evening. Oh, let's go through here, look at these. The old beans. Focus, come on. Okay. Old beans are doing fine. Haven't half a in yet. Oh, navigating this allotment. It's quite a bit harder. So this, that the part I've taken you over here, this is the shared half. Now they're onto my part now. Got some more sunflowers here. Some amaranth here. This is a smaller one. We've got ones growing up here. Got some yakon in a container that I've never got around to planting out. Um, at the back here, this is a patty pan squash, I believe it is. It's quite a beast. And at the back, just there, tobacco. It's doing good. Lovely for wildlife. It's crazy. Okay, yakon, canners. Right, we're going to go up to the yeah this top part because we've walked past it and come back down. Ooh, try not to fall over. And here we've got our comfrey here growing up. This is a little flower bed. It needs to be tamed a bit. I'll take some cuttings of this climber and duplicate them. Around, as you can see, it's getting a little bit wild around there. There's some blueberries. We've harvested all of them. Inside the greenhouse, just here. That's the tobacco again. Actually, we'll take you in there. Shouldn't be such a lazy person. Ooh, stinging nettles. Hopefully, they won't go through my shirt. Oh, and the other part of the bed is Inca berries, which are here as well. You see the tobacco just spiking out there. So, we're going to focus. Come on. There we go. Look at that. It's incredible. Companion partners. So, we've got how many crops we've got here? Inca berries, patty pan squash, tobacco, sunflower, amaranth, uh, yakon. Got quite a lot in there. And inside, we've got some more. That's tobacco. It's doing a beast. Look at that. It's crazy. Uh, some herbs, some mint. I think it's a little bit mint like. It's around the back, just down there down there. It's not actually mint, it's something else. Some more yakon up there, so I'll never get around to putting out. The ochre is doing fine, it's just been left there this year. Oh, so peaceful. You can see the wildlife head road is taking shape. Look at that. We've got hazel. We've got Currants, we've got hawthorn, we've got rowan berries there. Let me go through. Oh, it's peaceful today. We've got tomatoes in front of our maize, and we've got some runner beans coming up. Some beans, I was getting confused the old beans. Got another, I think this is a courgette or squash, I'm not too sure which one it is. I've planted so many different varieties, but the labels run off. And some more maize. Potatoes that I left last year. Some rhubarb. There's globe artichokes, all flowered. Lovely flowers. And the hedging continues all the way from that end. It continue all the way down. Got currants. We've got other flowers here. Got St John's Wort somewhere down here. Some strawberry plant. This is a part that's wild. 
Look at that, look at all of them flowering artichokes. So I just haven't got around to doing the tidying up, but the lavender's doing great. We'll do lots of harvests in the evening. Look at that. And then we've got some more maize, or I think it could be popcorn down here. Got some, some more tomatoes. And that uh, about it, I think. I probably missed something. Some lavender down here. I managed to get some more glow lights. The slow berries in the containers are doing alright. I'm trying to think if I missed something. I tried to make it a bit quicker this time. And I managed to get more logs as well. Okay, well there goes all here. Yakon. This rose. Get some cut flowers for my grandmother. Mother. Grandmother for letting me stay over. Slow berries. Trees here. And all these logs I managed to get. Be careful because the wasp nest is to my left. Yeah, we're just piling more logs. You can see here. And the hedging is planted all the way along here. All the way to the end. So that is it guys, that concludes the, I think I've missed something here, but I tried to speed up a bit, so anyway guys, have a great day, take care, I'll speak to you soon.